Okay, I'm going to see if I can explain this the way that it appeared in my dream in just a few minutes. Now, I recently made videos about this talking about how volcanoes erupt, right? But what I want you to take away from this video is when volcanoes erupt, they produce static electricity. Also, what I want you to take away from this video is how is the moon powered? How is the sun powered? Okay, now think of the black sun not only being a quantum computer, but having an effects of like a large Tesla coil. I'm going to show you two videos at the end that will help better elaborate on the, the, the words that I'm saying in this video. Okay, electrostatic discharge can create spectacular electric sparks. Lightning with the company sound of thunder is an example of a large scale electrostatic discharge event. Going down to the last sentence here, electrostatic discharge include corona discharge from sharp electrodes, brush discharge from blunt electrodes. Brush discharge. Brush discharge is an electrical disruptive discharge similar to a corona discharge that takes place at an electrode with a high voltage applied to it, embedded in a non-conducting fluid, usually air. It is characterized by numerous luminous writhing sparks, plasma streamers, lightning, composed of ionized air molecules. Ionization happens in the sky, radio propagation, like I've said in many videos, which repeatedly strike out from the electro into air, often with a crackling sound. That's thunder, that's literally thunder. Because first you see the plasma streamers, the lightning, and then you hear the crackling sound the thunder okay these photos represent a brush discharge look familiar um tesla coil side note i hope you get this why were the great pyramids in perfect alignment with orion's belt why were the mississippians building mounds in the united states which is ancient america that were perfectly aligned with orion's belt Okay, electric discharge occurring in high voltage equipment like EHV power transmission lines, radio transmitters, and their antennas, CRT power supplies, and power supplies for scientific equipment like lasers and particle accelerators. Particle accelerators. CERN, do y'all not see the when CERN was active, the cloud that appeared above CERN? No? Let me show you. Whoop, there it is. A brush discharge represents a serious failure of electrical insulation and may be a fire hazard. Like the other electric arcs, brush discharges produce ozone gas. Where do you... Which can be noxious to nearby people in an enclosed space and over time can cause embrittlement of some plastics. Tesla coils producing brush discharges and stream, streamer discharges are displayed for entertainment at science fair and rock concerts. See, that's what they want you to believe. But we all know that a Tesla coil can power an entire city with wireless electricity. Tesla used these circuits to conduct innovative experiments in electrical lightning, phosphorescence, X-ray generation, high frequency alternating current phenomena, electrical therapy and the transmission of electrical energy without wires. Tesla coil circuits were used commercially in spark gap radio transmitters for wires telegraphy until the 1920s and in medical equipment such as electrical therapy and violet ray devices. Electrostatic discharge is a physical phenomenon that may destroy electronic components due to its high discharge current that may reach a few amperes in just a few nanoseconds. However, another major aspect of electrostatic discharge is the related high frequency electromagnetic fields radiated by the electrostatic discharge event. What do they mean when they say radiate? There's a definition. I'm just going to let you read. To send out rays to shine brightly like the sun radiates right now like i said before the firmament produces radio propagation radio propagation is the behavior of radio waves as they travel or are propagated from one point to another in vacuum or into various parts of the atmosphere as a form of electromagnetic radiation like light waves 
radio waves are affected by the phenomena of reflection, refraction, diffraction, absorption, polarization, and scattering. Now, when you put on sunglasses, they have special sunglasses that are polarized, right? Okay. Hello? Understanding the effects of varying conditions on radio propagation has many practical applications from choosing frequencies for amateur radio, communications, cell phones, hello, international shortwave broadcasters, to designing reliable mobile telephone systems, to radio navigation, to the operation of radar systems, so you don't need satellites of radio propagation happens in the firmament. Now, I just want to show you this photo again before I take you to the videos. This photo, you have electrostatic discharge that is being produced by CERN, right? Now, ask yourself, can electrostatic discharge be used for, I don't know, going back and forth in time? Okay. If you don't at least understand or understand or overstand anything that was just said, I would try to, if you have time, go back and watch some lectures that I did. Maybe a good one would be Deciphering Reality, Weather. You can find that on YouTube or uh, TikTok. It's, Instagram's kind of hard to scroll through, so I would use those two platforms. Um, but I'm just going to show you the videos now. The first one is um, how like a Tesla coil can be used to power like things like the moon and the sun. This message that appeared in my dream would not leave my head until I made this video. It's like I was being instructed. So let me ask you this question before I go to the videos. If this were a simulation, how is the simulation powered? Replay this video if you don't understand. Roll the footage. 